In this lesson, we learn how to find a vector perpendicular to a plane when given three points on the plane. For example, find a vector perpendicular to the plane passing through points P, 2, 0, minus 1, Q, 1, 1, 3, and R, 0, minus 1, 2. Here are points P, Q and R, and here is the plane which passes through them. Perpendicular means at right angles to. The vector that is perpendicular to the plane must be perpendicular to both the vectors P to Q and P to R as shown. To find such a vector, we need to find the vector cross product of P to Q and P to R. First we find P to Q by subtracting P from Q. 1 minus 2 equals minus 1. 1 minus 0 equals 1. 3 minus minus 1 is the same as 3 plus 1 which equals 4. P to R is found by subtracting P from R. 0 minus 2 equals minus 2. Minus 1 minus 0 equals minus 1. 2 minus minus 1 equals 3. Now we find the cross product by arranging the vectors one above each other like so. We find the i component by covering the i column to obtain 1, 4, minus 1 and 3. We now have a subtraction. It is always a subtraction for the j component. We cover the j column to obtain minus 1, 4, minus 2 and 3. Now we add the k component. Covering the k column, we obtain minus 1, 1, minus 2, minus 1. Now we evaluate these determinants. We multiply the top left and bottom right, then subtract the top right multiplied by the bottom left. 1 times 3 equals 3 and we subtract minus 1 times 4, which equals minus 4. Now we subtract minus 1 times 3 equals minus 3, and we subtract minus 2 times 4 equals minus 8. Now we add minus 1 times minus 1 equals 1, and we subtract minus 2 times 1 equals minus 2. Evaluating, we get 7i minus 5j plus 3k. We can write this in the vector form like so. This is the vector perpendicular to the plane. Here is another example. We find a to b as 1 minus 0 equals 1. 0 minus minus 2 equals 2 and 0 minus minus 1 equals 1. A to C equals 3 minus 0 equals 3, 1 minus minus 2 equals 3 and 0 minus minus 1 equals 1. We arrange like so to find the cross product. In the I component we obtain 2, 1, 3, 1. We always subtract the j component, which is 1, 1, 3, 1. We add the k component of 1, 2, 3, 3. We now evaluate the determinants, multiplying the top left and bottom right values, then subtracting the top right multiplied by the bottom left. For i, we have 2 minus 3. 
For j, we have 1 minus 3. For k, we have 3 minus 6. We obtain minus 1 i plus 2 j minus 3 k. We can write the vector like so. Visit mathsathome.com for further videos and practice.